No, because the, these, so I think part of your, part of the problem in your epistemology is you make this distinction between a claim and an ev an evidence. And yes. you've made this in a number of your debates. And I totally disagree with that approach. Uh, oh, because, you're a claim, wrong. because a claim is evidence. No, it's, no, uh, it's not. To be explained. It, it's no, a claim is not evidence. If I say I have a hundred dollar bill in my wallet, that's a claim. It is a statement about a fact. It is not evidence in and of itself. It, it, well, it, it's more probable on the hypothesis that you do, especially, I mean, if, if you are- I don't care um, about more, if, this is so listen dishonest. To me. Matt, listen to me, especially, if, especially if, if you are a trusted friend who has a track record of being habitually reliable, habitually truth, truth, Thank truthful, you. Um, then uh, if I come to you and, uh, and you say to me, I have, you know, a hundred bucks in my, in my pocket or what have you, then that is something I'm going to believe you on, right? So that is a form no. of evidence. I, I completely agree with you, and you've just demonstrated how your objection is fundamentally flawed and my epistemology is sound. Because what you cited was the evidence for my likelihood to reliably tell you the truth. You're using, here's the claim, my claim is I have $100 in my wallet. That is not evidence. What you're using is your understanding of how reliable and trustworthy I am. That is the evidence that supports whether or not my claim is likely to be true. I have no problem with that. Please present the likelihood that these stories are true. I don't know who wrote them. How do I know how reliable they are? I don't know who these people are. I have no way to investigate any of the facts about it. So all we have are personal testimonies, which is anecdotal evidence. It cannot rise to the point of, of leading anyone to reasonably conclude that somebody rose from the dead. Where, where do you draw the line on, hey, and a, 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 someone I consider who I've never met but someone who I consider to be a reliable witness is telling me about a miracle. How do you reject all the claims of the, the spirit men from other religions who claim that they don't eat food, that they live off prana, and they have acolytes, and they have people who are, are willing disciples of them who follow them around? Now, you can't test them. How do, you, how do you say that those people aren't tied to the facts, and yet the ones you're citing are? So... The, the point is, if, if the Gospels and Acts are based on eyewitness testimony, then we have to take seriously the, what they say concerning the nature and variety of the resurrection encounters with the risen Jesus goes back to the early apostolic eyewitnesses. And then that's what needs to be explained by looking at, sifting through the hypotheses that I offered. Namely, uh, the, um, as, and it argues against the, the myth hypothesis, and then we have to consider, okay, were they honestly mistaken or were they deliberately lying? And the fact that they're substantially trustworthy is evidence that they were not deliberately lying, although um, it's not conclusive proof, but as evidence for that conclusion. Uh, and uh, you could also look at the fact they were willing, that the apostles were willing to die as martyrs for their testimony, which also contributes evidence to the fact that they were uh, not deliberately lying about what they allegedly saw. I just asked you how you distinguish between the people who you think you're, you're being honest uh, and have access to the facts for the religion that you accept I distinguish between those and the people who are making claims for other religions that you don't accept. And instead of giving me anything close to how you would tell the difference, which is what epistemology is about, how I tell the difference between, hey, this religion, you're, you're basically saying these religious accounts are true and these religious accounts over here are not true. And you have no better evidence for your truth than they have for theirs. Because what you have is a claim from someone who you find truthful. Now, are you just gonna say that for all those other religions or for those other supernatural accounts, you just don't find those people truthful? Uh, yeah, exactly. Okay, then I don't find yours truthful, and there's no point in having a debate because we no longer give a damn about epistemology. We're just going to go with how our gut feels, right? Well, we're going to look at the evidence, and when I, I've been asking for evidence, do you have any evidence that doesn't come from the Bible? No. Okay. So, so you, you have nothing but a hearsay account from an unidentifiable source. We have evidence from the New Testament, including Paul and the Gospels and so forth. Yeah. So why don't you start responding to the evidence rather than just dismissing it? It's not evidence. It's claims, not evidence. There is no evidence. There is no physical evidence. There is no... Uh, what you can do is you can say that there are people who wrote stories and you find them compel compelling, and okay. I don't. If you're, if you're just going to keep dismissing the evidence, then we're done. Yes, we are. We, we are. And you know whose fault it is? The God that you believe in, because the God that you believe in is too stupid to understand right. that when he presents something in a way where it's indistinguishable from other things that are false, 
that's the end of the conversation. Yeah. I didn't yeah. make up the rules about what counts as evidence. You believe the sources are trustworthy because of the credibility of witnesses. The credibility of the witnesses is evidence for the proposition that the witness is trustworthy. That is the evidence you're leaning on, not the claim. And then trying to claim that claims are evidence. Well, if claims are in fact evidence, then I will claim that claims aren't evidence. And you'll have to accept this under your epistemology that as evidence against your claim. I'm done.